Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and earlier this week, Epic Games released the newest version of Unreal Engine, specifically Unreal Engine 5.6 Preview. So if you head on over to the Epic Games Launcher, you will find it is available here. Uh, I've already got it installed. By the way, if you do go ahead and install this, spoiler alert for something we're going to talk about in just a minute, you probably want to go into the options and enable the MetaHuman Creator Core Data. So that, again, spoiler alert for something we're going to talk about. Normally, I have pretty much all the options turned off. That is one that you probably probably want to turn on if you want to check out the newest functionality here. Now, sadly, one of the most exciting new features of 5.6 didn't make it, which is a bit disappointing. Now, this is something that Epic Games talked about pretty heavily, and I'm kind of sad to see that it isn't here. But by the way, this is a preview release. The state of Unreal is coming in June. So I got to imagine we're going to see like the full fat version coming in just like a few months or a few weeks anyways. So I wouldn't worry about it over too much. But uh, we just created a new project, at least we're working on it. I don't know if it, yeah, there it is, it's popped under. So this is the disappointment. So this is the uh, project browser. And what we are supposed to get is a ton of new templates, uh, like a half a dozen or a dozen of them for, uh, you know, basically implementing a number of different genres up to like, including things like survival horror. Uh, unfortunately, those new templates do not seem to have made the cut with the preview. So if you saw other people's coverage on this, that did not make it in, which is again, a bit unfortunate. So here we are. This is Unreal Engine 5.6. This is Unreal Engine 5.5. Have you noticed a difference right away? Well, look here, right there. And now right there. So they've done an updated UI here. I like it better. I like what they've done. So they've consolidated a bunch of the menus that were floating in weird space. And you've got all this stuff over here. But they've done a couple things that I think are even more cool than that. Is that this is sort of like an integrated menu now. So for example, here, if I switch over to modeling, while I'm in modeling mode, you're going to see over here, you have common property. So if I want to select face mode or edge mode or so on, and the snapping settings, they're all available over here. Whereas say I switch over to uh, animation mode, we're going to get the appropriate tools if there are any. Landscape mode, and uh, nothing there. Uh, mesh painting, nothing there. So it's only certain ones. But again, modeling is one of the ones where it is most prominent in terms of the functionality, the most commonly used functionality uh, is dynamically created up over there, which I, I love that. It makes it you know immediately available to you. So that is a definitely a step forward. By the way, this scene you see in front of you, this is available in a bundle for Unreal Engine. There is a ton of Unreal Engine content available right now uh, between... Um, Gumroad and Humble Bundle. I'll get back to that a little bit later on. But if you want to grab this, it is available in a really cool deal. So there, again, that is one of the changes. Come down here. They also said they updated the content browser. I'm not seeing this one as much. So if I come back over here, content browser, it's... So they said the icons are cleaner. And one area that I have noticed a change. So here you've got... Um, so they got new icons going on for certain things. A little bit of clarity here. But the other thing is create basic assets. This is 5.5. I switch back over to 5.6, click on some empty space, and you're gonna see, again, slightly different, cleaner assets, uh, but we've also got a few new things added here as well. But the changes here for the content browser, I I barely see them, to be honest. It's just, um, they do say, I think, better performance as well, and also it will work better in like a vertical um, aspect ratio. But again, I'm not seeing a ton of differences with the content browser on this particular update. Now, I did get into the spoilers earlier about the other major update to a 5.6. Oh, by the way, before I move on, this whole functionality, this is completely optional. So if you hate this, don't worry. It's not a deal breaker. You can actually come down to the console and like so, and you do tools, menus, viewports of toolbars. And if you do zero, we're back to the way it used to be. If we do one, we're the new way and the old way. If for some reason you want to have a duplication of all your menus, for example, here is lit versus lit over here and so on. Uh, so if some reason you want both, you can do that. And if you want to go with the new system two, and then you're back to the new system. So if you hate the new UI, don't fret. It is completely optional. All right. So back to the other new kind of exciting feature here, uh, meta humans. So come in here to plugins, meta human, and make sure that it is enabled. So meta human creator is now available as beta. It is directly integrated in, uh, which is very cool. So now if I come down here, go to the content, like so, and then, okay, I'm very zoomed out. I create a new, you're gonna find MetaHuman is available here, and you have a number of different options here. We can go ahead and we can create a character directly here. So, new character, uh, okay, come on. 
and then open it up. And I think this is going to be off screen in a second. The editor is opening up. No, it's there. So here you can see uh, it is now uh, all integrated. So if you want to create your own metahumans, you can do so. Uh, the body, the hair, and so on. So selection. You can add hair. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Like so, add the hair in. There we go. Uh, same thing here for materials. All your skin settings are here. Various different options available there. You got additional settings over here. And then what's even cooler is you have uh, an option here for once you like the results you've done. By the way, you've got tools here for doing the clothing, for the body, for setting up, for um, different properties here. So basically, it's like, a, ooh, something going wrong with the hair in this one for sure. Uh, but you see, again, all kinds of settings. It's just like a video game creator. MetaHuman, the MetaHuman creator has always been a very cool thing, but it always ran over in the cloud. Now it's available here. Uh, by the way, you can also set up and have it automatically create a face rig for you uh, with blend shapes if you want. So if you're animating your uh, MetaHuman creation, that functionality is there. By the way, on the topic of animation, we have a ton there as well. So let's head on over, take a look at the announcements. The announcement is a little bit light on detail. Let's just go here full screen. So uh, what we got, 5.6 brings vast, high-fidelity open worlds with maximum performance and a consistent 60 hertz frame rate. So there are definitely some core performance issues here. Now, interestingly enough, Tim Sweeney did an interview uh, where he talked about Unreal Engine 6 and some of the faults with Unreal Engine 5. And he said one of the biggest performance ramifications they have right now with Unreal Engine 5 branch is uh, with handling of threading, sort of like what you need to take care of with the job system and the data-oriented technology stack. Well, they're kind of running into to like a single thread. It's not that Unreal Engine isn't multi-threaded, but there are a lot of threading issues that makes taking advantage of parallel hardware harder. So this is one of the areas where they have improved things in this version, but they've actually said that this is a big focus with six. And a lot of the hiccups and problems that we were experiencing for performance with Unreal Engine seem to be resolved around this. So a lot of the focus of 5.6 is under the hood on making things perform better. Uh, also, a ton of animation tools. We'll look at that quickly when we get into the roadmap. Uh, basically, the whole of Unreal Engine is turning into a content creation tool. So you're getting more and more animation tools inside of it. If you are creating animations using the sequencer, there's more and more powerful tools there as well. And then you've also got basically a full modeling suite in there. So eventually, you may not need Max Maya or Blender to work with Unreal Engine, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. On top of that, MetaHuman Creator is now available in Engine, includes blending and sculpting of MetaHuman bodies, plus improved visual fidelity, and new real-time workflows for MetaHuman Animator. Once again, a quick reminder if you do use it though make sure that you install both the plugin and you're going to need to set this meta human creator core data as well which by the way is five plus gigabytes but that is required to make things work and then uh we have faster creation with content browser 2 and then the new viewport toolbar layout i definitely like this I'm not seeing a whole lot of changes to the Content Browser 2 side of things, to be honest. And the ability to build expansive high-fidelity worlds faster than ever with powerful procedural workflows. Again, pretty light. So we've got more details are definitely going to be coming soon. So uh, June 3rd is when the state of Unreal is. That's when I expect uh, the preview will be moved onwards from then. That's a pretty quick to go from preview to release, though. So maybe it will go to beta from here. But I would expect that hopefully that's when we will get those missing templates. Because those templates sounded like the most exciting new feature feature of Unreal Engine 5.6, and sadly, they did not seem to make it. But, uh, you know, oh, so I guess we're not getting 5.6 there. So, so what's coming with 5.6, tune, tune in. So it'll probably be a beta update at that point. But hopefully that is when we get the templates. So here we are. This is the Unreal Engine roadmap. Now, it's really hard to tell with the roadmap, especially when you're in 5.6, like the status of things. So I won't say that they added this, they added that, and they added this. Like, for example, uh, in the material side of things, there is a new material preview available. It's a little buggy right now, to be honest. Um, and that's kind of cool. But uh, how much did Substrate move forward? Forward, I can't really tell you there. Then we got these things here. Like this is what they're talking about with that performance upgrade. 
Um, so when they were talking about 60 hertz, so this will free up valuable CPU resources on your target platform and overall helps to achieve a more consistent 60 hertz frame rate. So you got performance of things here. This is another thing that was going on. So rendered thread performance is very often the limiting factor of Unreal Engine titles. This is because some operations are restricted to this particular thread, even though current platforms and graphics APIs uh, allow them to be done in parallel. The goal is to improve performance by refactoring the rendering hardware interface API to remove these constraints and fully utilize the multi-threading capability of the target hardware. So this is an area that was identified, this, this threading issue was identified as one of the biggest limitations of Unreal Engine 5.x. Does look like they are working towards addressing that because Unreal Engine 6, according to Tim, is like two to three years down the road before we're going to start seeing it. So it is nice to see them doing these um, improvements in terms of the rendering side of things. The animation section right here, we got a ton of stuff. Again, Obviously, MetaHuman Creator is now embedded in. On top of that, you can do uh, real-time animations from a single camera or audio. And then on the uh, animation stuff, we got a bunch more retargeting tools here, uh, motion trails. So you can basically see you know, ghost images of, of where your animation is going, where it came from, and so on. Uh, improvements to sequencer curves, et cetera. And then we uh, have sculpting of morph shapes. And this one is probably one of the coolest ones. Is this rig locomotor. And this is a plugin that makes procedural walking rigs inside a control rig easy, such as a spider walking across various geometries at runtime. So uh, it is, by the way, is marked as experimental. And the way things go uh, is experimental and then beta and then uh, release. So experimental stuff doesn't necessarily make it into the engine. That's just one of those things to be aware of. But uh, so controlled via controller for player control and mechanisms or procedural use for background characters, works on characters at any number of limbs. So you see, they're just kind of moving it around and then it's resolving it and figuring it out for you. That's actually really cool. It'd be interesting to see how long that takes to come along, but a ton of improvements on the animation side of things. And then again, world building, uh, procedural content generation, a number of updates there. Again, when you're looking at the roadmap side of things, though, it's really hard to tell what part is brand new to 5.6 versus what part is like slightly improved upon and so on. Because uh, again, when you break it down and you look at their preview, they're very vague. We made it faster and so on. So uh, again, most powerful update yet to the animator's authoring tool set. Yeah, but what specifically is new and what is there previously and so on, it does get a little bit challenging to decide. But you see here, there is quite a bit going on here. Uh, they also have this, this is really neat, to be honest. There is now this um, media viewer that you can dock inside. So if you're working on animations or uh, trying to match concept art or something like that, you can actually put the art, including a video, into a viewport and have it side by side. You can even actually split it with a rendered viewport, which is, again, if you're matching to other materials, a really cool feature. So that has been added in here as well. So quite a bit to like in this particular release. So again, if you want to go ahead and check this one out, it is available in uh, the Epic Games Launcher. Do make sure if you're going to check out the, uh, the MetaHuman stuff that you add in that data as well. As I mentioned earlier on too, there is a ton of stuff going on right now for Unreal Engine developers. I just did this video right here. So there is this new Level Up 5K World Building Asset Kit. On the one hand, it looks, this is humble by the way, on the one hand, it looks like it's for Unreal and Unity, but when you look at the actual content it's all unreal except for this one piece so everything else here is in um for unreal engine on top of that if you head on over to humble you'll see that there's a ton of other stuff going on at the same time there are a pair of bundles going on over at gumroad so here we are on humble so this is the one bundle that's available by the way if you use my link it does help support me but you'll notice we head on over here you'll see it's not the only thing we've also got this one going on here for unreal engine as well and I think there's one more, but it may now. Oh yeah, right here. So you've got three Unreal Engine bundles going on at the same time. Humble are really coming after your money, Unreal Engine developers. And then on the flip side, we also overhunt Gum Road. We have a pair of bundles I will link down below. Uh, one is listed as $99.99. Use the code SN70. It becomes $39.99 and you can get a ton of environments here, like you can see. And then the other one is six environments and it shows as $49.99, but use the code SN40 and it becomes uh, $9.99. So uh, some great deals out there if you are an Unreal Engine developer. Again, all the links are down below. And if you use those links, you do help support me. And I very much appreciate that. So ladies and gentlemen, back to it. So this here, this Unreal Engine 5.5. Again, the old school UI. And then the update, new UI. And again, we've got integrated in uh, MetaHuman 
creator built in there now, and then the updated UI that's going on there, and then a bunch of animation tools, etc. I expect more details on exactly the other things that were added, probably with the state of Unreal. I will no doubt be doing a video after that one as well. But let me know what you think. Unreal Engine 5.6. First off, tell me, do you like the new UI, or are you going to be switching back to the old UI, like so? Or for some reason, are you going to want both? I mean, because, hey, you know what? More is always better, right? <laughs> Except for maybe more screen real estate is what you're giving up here. So let me know what you think of this update. And tell me, like, do you see what I'm missing with the content drawer about what is new and special? Again, slightly tweaks to the icon, a couple more options here for creating stuff. But that's all I'm seeing. So if there's more to it and I missed something, please do let me know in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.